This project is first and foremost a competition uh, among student teams from different uh, parts of the world. There are 20 teams that have been selected as finalists in the Solar Decathlon. So the students have designed and are now getting ready to build a, this solar-powered house, you know, having great functionality and aesthetics with the ability to uh, not require any outside energy makes a particular challenge. This summer, we're going to build the house first in New Jersey, and then we're going to disassemble it and put it on trucks and ship it down to Washington, D.C. for the big competition, which takes place in September. On Rutgers Day, we are going to be displaying some components of the house, things like solar panels and the special concrete sandwich that the building is made of, as well as a virtual tour of the house. So we've created a very detailed animation that allows you to uh, look at the house being built, uh, walk in the door, uh, look around at all of the, uh, the furnishings and what it's like to live inside a precast concrete house with solar panels on the roof, and then go outside and see what the house looks like from, uh, from the outside. So people will get, will get a real sense of what this house is going to look like and feel like. One of the main goals of the, the competition Solar Decathlon is to educate people about solar energy and um, energy efficiency. The students learn, we create something and then we invite the public in to have you know, a conversation with us to look at what we're doing and to really show them in a real world setting like this is what green and solar power can look like. We're going to be trying to do some activities with the kids, sort of get them interested in what, what is solar energy, what is the sun, what is energy, so that they can sort of start thinking about those things. Because, I mean, for my generation, recycling was a huge thing and we sort of taught our parents. So for the next generation, we want that to be renewable energy.